Hello, I got a uh, new toy here I want to show you all. Received it from uh, DJ K. Well, I uh, I call him Q, but he calls himself DJ K. Adam, and uh, he sent me over this uh, retro modem. Retro modem over here. Um, I'll show you up close what it looks like. That's the device right there. That's what he sent to me, and uh, I received it on Friday. Opened it up, and now I have it connected here to the uh, Commodore. I got my little uh, NIC64 card, my Wi-Fi card. And back there is the connection to the, uh, the retro modem, to the uh, user port. So, got it connected to my... Uh, my old uh, my Commodore 64 here. When again, I'm gonna turn it on right here. I'll get it going. Got my little uh, SD card drive right there, where I'm gonna load my uh, my terminal. And for this test, I'm gonna use a uh, Nova Term. So let me go ahead and load it up for you guys. Okay. up here oops mumbo jumbo go to my directory here and let's see we got yeah Nova term right here load that up boot it and yeah there you go it's loading up Okay, looks like the uh, modem did initialize. I'm going to go into uh, terminal mode. Okay, type in AT. Okay, cool. And there he goes. We got OK there. Now the modem's got three lights. It had two. Um, when I turned the computer, I had like only two. Now we got a third light on here showing that it's connected to the internet so let me see let's try connecting to mill actually not even before I do that let me let me show you what this thing has I'm gonna type in ATI1 there you go so now we got we got the configuration set up there Got the uh, IP address set to dot one twenty eight. My my uh, subnet mask is already set up, and then my gateway right there. I had to set that up there manually uh, by typing in, going into this menu, which tells you how to set up your uh, your different uh, parameters in the modem. So there you go. So now we have it set up as, uh, as this right here. This thing has a series of menus. Um, and the modem. Different, uh, different things that you can do. Different AT commands and whatnot. And there you go, see? Let's see, ATI5, I think that's the last menu there. Gives you all that right there on the modem. This is all coming from the, you know, from the re retro modem right there. Entire, entire menu, I believe that everything was hard-coded into the uh, the hardware that's inside the uh, the case uh, designed by, uh, by Q. Okay, uh, also known as Adam. So, uh, it's a retro modem 1.0. B, I believe, is the uh, version. Now yeah, let's go ahead and connect to a BBS here. Type in the address here. I'm doing everything with one hand, so 
Oh man, I put the wrong I put a little uh, little connect, let's see what happens. Well that's good. If, even if you make a mistake you put the uh wrong port. You can delete the key and, and enter the right one. I thought it was gonna give me an error. But uh, so far so good. Uh, 40, 40 columns. Press return. This is Millennium 64, guys, that which was uh, coded all from scratch from uh, Overlord, also known as Steve Bell. A friend of mine that, uh, that I know of who lives out in Pennsylvania. And uh, I've been running this BBS for... I'm going to have to say probably four years now. I've been I'm running the uh, Millennium 64 BBS. Okay, so... Let's see what happens here. And you can see some of the lights going on here. The lights uh, flashing as I'm connecting to the BBS. Go back to the screen here. And we'll just hit no here for now. And you can see some of the lights going on there. The modem. Eventually, I do want to get a, th a Thunder Drive for this uh, setup here. Um, need to get a hold of Jeff Jarian. I, I know he sells them on eBay. And, you know, they're like $350, I believe, for the uh, Thunder Drive. But it would be the best thing for me to do as far as, uh, you know, hooking up uh, a BBS online. I mean, I'm running them right now with, with the emulator, with Winvice on two of them but eventually I am going to get myself a um, a thunder drive and, and get it online uh, as soon as I can using Millennium 64 that is because you know it's it's been in it's been in uh, in a work of progress for for a few years now and it's gotten a whole lot better look at the uh, menu set up here this is one of the ones that was de designed by Robert Wright also known as the Chameleon from uh, CSD. That's one of the menus right there for the BBS. That is one of the menus right there. So, press a key right there. And uh, there you go, man. That's, I mean, that's the motor right there. I'm showing you all the lights now. We got, uh, got several lights on right now. There you go. My two other devices there. And uh, we're good to go, man. So there you go. There you have it, man. There's uh, this device right here. Which I'm using, so... Let's see. I'm going to log off the BBS right now. Yeah, there's a screen Rob Wright did from you as well. Anyways, Millennium 64 using Retro Modem. <laughs> it's got an Arduino board, I believe, in there. So it's got the hardware and it's got uh, software uh, in there designed by uh, Ke. Q-U-E-Q. -E -Q. All designed by him. So far, so good. I really like it, man. Works good. So I got three different toys I can play with this. Or these two down here. My uh, NIC 64, the Wi-Fi uh, wi modem. Next in line is going to be the Thunder Drive. I'm going to be getting that next. Anyways, I hope, hope you all enjoy the video.